Hi! Hi, I'm Sam. <laughs> Sam's here today to do her July favorites and a haul and some random talk. Alright. Hi guys. Uh, me and Little, she's here. She's rubbing at my leg. Um, we're here to present with you some favorites that we have and some new products. Hmm. Okay. So, you know what? I don't really know where to start. I have a ton of stuff just sitting here on my desk that's like, show me, show me, show me. Like, I don't, I'm not even sure which ones I'm going to show. I, I've, I'm very confused. Let me start with some, let's start with some favorites because, yeah, things always go well with things that we love. Okay. First, I want to show you guys this bag. This bag is my obsession. <laughs> my obsession. Here it is. Look at this bag. Can we just talk about this gorgeous taupe? Oh my god. I love Teddy Blake bags. These are Italian leather, handcrafted. They are beautiful. They are beautiful. And this little nugget is my obsession. There's a beautiful stainless chain link. Uh rope rope <laughs> uh you know uh strap strap thank you strap strap it goes from shoulder length to cross body all right it is so adorable it's a small bag um it only holds i put like my credit cards in here my cell phone my keys and a lipstick or two i mean it doesn't hold a huge amount the leather is so so soft the design of the teddy blake bag is so adorable um, i'm gonna link it below if you guys want to check it out it's so beautiful i have had i have a teddy blake bag if i can if i have a picture i'm going to insert it for you guys i've got i got it I want to say like three years ago I was living in my apartment I hadn't even moved here and I still have it it's in mint condition I still use it and it's a big like like one of those Birkin bags you know and it's gorgeous and now I have this one the taupe matches everything it's a perfect summer bag it can go into fall and it's so cute I'm obsessed obsessed with crossbody bags right now so that is my new obsession I wanted to share that with you guys what else am I absolutely loving okay let's move on to my phone no I always love my phone you guys know that we all love our phones we have this love affair with our phones we need to stop okay the next thing I've been using a ton this summer which is kind of a new thing for me actually is my Too Faced bronzer Yes, I said it right. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I never used bronzer much until this summer. I got a lot of color. I specifically stay out of the sun because I'm very paranoid about getting older, hence the Botox and the PRP treatments. I want to keep my face looking young, but I did go to Florida. I got a tan, um, and I have just... I'm not super pale right now, um, I'm not super tan either, but I have been using bronzer just to kind of like bronze myself up a little bit. I really love this. The regular chocolate solely one is too dark for me, but the milk chocolate is good. The milk chocolate is good and it's good for fair girls. So this is a great product and I swear to you, it goes on my skin and it like smooths out. Like it just, it looks so good. I, I don't even know what to say about it. It is my love right now. I'm such a fan. Okay, so the next product that I've been using a lot is um, is actually a stolen product. Let's be honest about this. When I went to Florida, Danny came with me for a few days, me and Matt, and she brought this. This is the Amica Touchable Hairspray. She left it behind, and I stole it from her. <laughs> it was like a full bottle. Okay, it's a full size travel, and I've been using it. I still have product left. It's a Touchable Hairspray. I love it so much. They don't sell Amica at um, at Ulta. They only sell it at Sephora, so I have to buy it online. Um, I need to buy a full size of this. First of all, it smells delicious. I love the way Amica's hair, sprout, uh, air, hair products sp um, smell. I have a bunch of them down there. I have the spray and conditioner, a leave-in conditioner. I have the, the um, texture, the texture spray. I love that as well, but I never tried their hairspray. Now I'm obsessed with it. Thank you so much, Biffa. Um, it's so good you guys it's so good it doesn't make your hair like super crunchy like look at my hair I, I don't have a whole lot of hair so I can't afford for my hair to get all like l l crunchy one thing <laughs> one thing I do want to talk about like, why is my hair been like the same length for like a year I've cut it maybe three times <laughs> 
don't know if maybe it's the keto or something, but I swear to you, my hair is not growing. I need to take biotin or something. Um, my hair, I mean, I know it's grown a little bit. Like, it's at my shoulders now. Before, it was, like, over my shoulders, so my hair would, like, dance above my shoulders. Now it's, like, down, it's starting to, like, you know. But I feel like it's growing really slow. I need to take biotin. But I don't want all my body hair to grow really fast you know so there's that okay let's move on to another product that I absolutely love this um, this is the Brazilian for play moisturizing shower cream gel by Sol de Janeiro um, I have I, I I'm obsessed with their products first of all I have their let's see I have their body butter right here I have their body spray right here these products smell like caramel, pistachio, they are amazing. I had just run out of this. And then when I went to go visit Danny, she gave me a new bottle and I was like, you just saved me from having to go buy it. She is the best. Um, this product is amazing. It makes your skin so soft. I mean, if you guys have used the Boom Boom Cream before, you know this is a new one. Oh, I have so, oh my god. I just wanna like, you know, I just wanna eat it. I have so many of these floating around my house. I have like the little travel size one over there from my BoxyCharm box a couple months ago and I just never took it out of my beauty room. It's like over there on the counter. The products that this company makes is amazing. They need to make deodorant. Sol de Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro, make some deodorant for your girl or some hairspray. Like, ugh, I just, I'm obsessed. The smell, I mean, it's, it's like, it's like visceral. I need to calm down. I need to drink some water. Mm. So, um, next product that I've really been loving a lot over here, MAC Fix Plus. Um, this is the original, this is the gold light one. Um, original, we had gotten this to, what, why is my nose itching? Like, what kind of life am I living? Um, I had gotten the gold fix one to use in Florida and make myself shimmer like a beautiful unicorn, but it doesn't really do all that much for your body, truth be told. So I just use it on my face and my chest. I just shake it up and I like this. See, I'm immediately shimmery. Okay, I'm wet. All right. You know what? I, I'm tired of you guys judging me. Just roll with the punch. <laughs> no, it makes you like shimmery and pretty and just glisten. I love the product. I love Fix Plus and I love the way it melts all my makeup together when I use it after makeup application. Moving on, um, concealer. I bought some new concealer, some foundation this month and they've become my favorite. Naked Skin One and Done by Urban Decay. This is already half gone, this little puppy. My skin, when I get color, does get uneven. Like, I get uneven blotches uh, from melasma. I have melasma up here. I have it on the side of my face. It's sun damage. I'm 38. Like, suck it up, buttercup. That's what happens when you get older. And um, this has sunscreen in it and, what is it, SPF 20? SPF 20. And I've been using that. This is the color Medium Light, and I love this. And I bought this in combination with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Canel. Canel. So normally I used, oh, here we go. Usually I used to use vanilla, okay? And then I upgraded to Creme Brulee, which is a little bit darker. And even Creme Brulee is like a little light. So then I went up to Canel, and Canel matches me right now. And what I did in Dallas, I also got the creamy, oh, holy jeez, I got the, uh, the pot, the pot one, the soft matte concealer as well, because I love this. It's a great color match. It's my true color match. Like this isn't going under my eyes. This is going on my face and it's neutralizing, you know, well, it's not neutralizing. It's covering zits after I color correct. So these products. I love them so much. This is new. I've actually, I have this. I have this in vanilla, but I don't know if you guys can tell the colors. This is darker. This one just is too light. It doesn't color, it doesn't cover anything because it's not the right color for me right now. So I have this. I love these two together. Oh, my favorite concealers, hands down. Do you guys know something? I'm not wearing pants, just so you know. Okay, so moving on to eyelashes. Lights, camera, lashes. I rediscovered this. I found one in my drawer that I didn't know I never opened, so I started using it. And this mascara 
is bomb. I remember why now I used to use it exclusively for years and then I gave it up. I broke up with it to use Roller Lash. Like, I've been off of Roller Lash for a few months now. So now I'm back to my, my tried and true. I love you. Lights, camera, lashes, tart. I will never break up with you again. Um, Alright, so Gimme Brow has been doing me justice lately with my brows. I've been using, of course, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe, and I've been using Benefit Gimme Brow in number one. It gives my brows a little bit of thickness, it holds them in place, and it gives it nice dimension. I bought number two last week. Two is too red, so I stepped away from number two. I actually just purchased number three. So that's part of my haul. Um, I might as well show it now. I got number three because this is a cool tone brown. Sometimes a girl wants darker brows, hence why we got this. Um, oh, you know what? I was talking about favorites. I might as well show you this. I got a mini MAC Prep and Prime. How little is this? So cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's not get into the haul stuff, Sam. Let's keep on track with the favorites and then we'll go into the haul. Um, okay, so for eyeshadow, I've been exclusively using my little tiny BoxyCharm Z palette um, filled with my eyeshadows that are from MAC and from Makeup Geek. This is Copper Plates, um, Soft Brown, uh, Blanc Type, all my favorite MAC shadows in one place. I used it to get the look today. Um, I've just been reaching for a lot of the same shadows over the summer, and when I've been traveling, because I have been traveling, I use this. Look at how glistening I am still. Huh. Um, I've been using this to travel, and I don't really want to bring, like, bring around a big palette. Like, I love this. This is the Born to Run palette. This is so, so good. Definitely a favorite, but when I'm traveling, I still feel like this is just too big to bring. Like I want to keep it small. I don't want it. I don't want that many eyeshadow choices. Honestly, I just want something soft and neutral like this, and I do bring it around with me. That be told. Okay, so uh, next I'm gonna talk about. What do we talk about? We're gonna talk about lips. We're gonna talk about my lip combination right now. As a matter of fact, this is Modern Lip Liner by Serenity Scott. If you guys have been watching me for any length of time, you know that this is my jam. I have three of these on myself right now because I love these lip liners. It's the perfect brownie kind of mauve brownie, nudie, I don't know. It's, it's amazing. I put this all over my lips, and then I top it with Nude Kate by Charlotte Tilbury. Like these two together. Oh my god, yeah, let me just mix them up so you can see. It's so, so beautiful. It's the perfect nude. And then I top it with Santa Domingo by NARS. I heard about this from Raw Beauty Christie. Was it Raw Beauty Christie? I think it was. Or maybe it was that girl Shay. Oh, now I can't remember. I think it was Raw Beauty Christie. And then you top it with this, and it's just, the combination is so, mm, it's so beautiful. Well, this formula, NARS is amazing. Like, NARS lip gloss used to be the worst. Uh, just the flavor, oh, it's just so vile and yucky. I hated it so much. I would never wear it until this came along. It's so good. It's glossy. It's beautiful. Okay, so um, let's talk about some stuff that I have purchased, received, that I absolutely love. Just received that I absolutely love. Wait, let me see something. My computer's right here. In case you guys didn't know. beauty influencer I get that like I don't really post a whole lot anymore but I still get you know things from 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 companies sometimes and I just when I see one that I like I just tell you guys about it it's just the way it kind of goes so I received this package here from Mint Mongoose now I have the email up here so I can tell you guys a little bit about it um, it is a monthly subscription service that sends you jewelry to your house every single month let's see how much it costs it's $12 plus shipping and handling for three pieces every month. Now it came in this box. Now it was it was beautifully uh, packaged and it was actually um, sealed with this little stamp thing that I broke, obviously. I want to show you guys what came in here. The jewelry is so cute. And it came with the Werther's Original. 
you guys are tempting me to break my keto diet, which I've done already over the past week. I feel guilty enough. Stop judging me. I haven't gained any weight though, but still, but still, I feel guilty. Okay, so it comes in pretty mint packaging and it came with three pieces. Oh, this one's long and pretty. Is this amber? Is that a mosquito? All right, this is an amber piece of jewelry. Amber is absolutely beautiful. It has, it has like a spider. It has like a spider in the amber. Can you guys see, can you see that? Wait, 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 wait. What, what is in there? Does it say? It doesn't say, but I swear to you guys, it looks like a spider trapped in the amber. It's really pretty though, look at that. I think, yeah, let me put this on. I never take this necklace off because this is, um, this is the first piece of jewelry that my husband gave me after we were together about four months. It's a diamond heart. It means more to me than any piece of jewelry, even my engagement ring. So I never take that off. Okay, anywho, let's put this one on. I always make them as long as I can make them because I love long necklaces. Can you guys see? That's so pretty. I gotta make sure not to back up too much so then you'll see I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> okay. So the next two pieces actually seem to match. Let's see what these are. Who needs pants? It's summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Okay, so this one looks like, oh, this is really pretty. It's like a green, a green, I don't know, it's a green jewel. I wish I knew what kind of stone this was. It's really pretty. And then the other package is matching earrings. That's nice. I'm a sucker for matching jewelry. Like, I love it when my bracelets and my necklaces match, or my earrings and my bracelet. That's really pretty. So the earrings come same size, same stone. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. All right. Mint Mongoose. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to link them down below. Um, this company seems really cool. And for $12 plus shipping every month, I think that that is absolutely, totally worth the cost. This jewelry seems really pretty. Okay. So let me put this to the side. Um, what else have I gotten? All right, so at Ulta, I got some stuff I wanted to show you guys. Um, I already showed you that I got a new um, Gimme Brow in number three, so hopefully this color should match me. I did pick up something that I was so missing, my Batiste Dry Shampoo. I ran out of Batiste Dry Shampoo like two weeks ago. My life has been a downward spiral since. Um, yeah. I feel emotionally drained and traumatized without it. Uh, no, dry sh no dry shampoo works like this, okay? So I got naughty. <laughs> I got the naughty smells, you guys. <laughs> Do you want to smell naughty together? Wait. Wait. Oh, it smells like perfume. Naughty, naughty. Ooh, dirty. Okay, let's not, Matt better not see that because he'll get some ideas. Um, I also today got Living Proof Full Dry Blast, a full dry volume blast. I love Living Proof, but this is hella expensive. I mean, this is um, three fluid ounces, and this was like $14, and this is um, six fluid ounces, and this was seven. So, you know, this is a lot of money. But I tried it in the store and I like put it in my hair and I and I scrunched it up like this and my hair it was like hi what's up volume like I really loved it I love the way it smelled so it's like I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna try it out and if I really like it then I'll splurge and spend the $29 on the big model but I'll wait for you know like Ulta coupons I did have a $10 off my birthday purchase because my birthday's in two weeks so I did use my coupon on this so technically it was four dollars so you know not bad at all um, so see here, I got my birthday gift, which is a Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I love it. I do use it. Here is the full size one. So now I have a little shrimpy baby one. Uh, the last product I got was a little bit of a risk. Now this was expensive. This is the Kula um, Light Medium Organic BB Cream, and it's an SPF. I think this was like what was this? This was like $52. I didn't even know what it was because there was no sign on the thing when I picked it up. It was $52 with my coupon. It wound up being $47. If this is not the best thing I've ever tried, it is going back for $50. But I have a Kula um, facial 
um, sunscreen and I'm obsessed with it. The smell, how does this open? Why, why am I being tested right now? Um, it is amazing. It is amazing and I wanted to give this one a go. Now this is light medium. I hope this bottle is not indicative of the color of the product. It kind of looks pretty dark. Let me check out one and done next to it. Look at the color difference. Can you see the color difference? <laughs> this is not light at all. It is like, all right, maybe it blends out. I can't judge it yet. Maybe it, maybe it just blends out. It looks hella dark. Holy mackerel, light medium, my ass. One and done is like super light. It's first of all, it's very pink. It's ve wow. Okay, listen, fifty dollars. If this does not work for me, I'm gonna try it on my face. Obviously not right now, but if it doesn't work, like this better blend out. <laughs> this better blend out because this is so dark. All right. Well, I'm not going to know until I know, so I will let you guys know in the in the uh, description if this actually worked for me. I'm going to keep it with the receipt because Ulta does not return or exchange without a receipt now. So, I want to keep that in mind. Oh, 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 two more things I forgot to tell you guys about. I did repurchase my Serenity Scott powder, but I did get uh, light. I usually get fairest, so I got a color that would match my skin now, and I absolutely love this. And I also got the Tatcha, the Skin Canvas, Finish Primer, Protective Primer, the Silk, whatever. This. Everyone talks about this on YouTube. I leave it in this little thing because it has the disc to scrape out the product. Um, it smells like, um, like citrusy, grapefruit, something. This product is heaven. It feels like heaven on the skin. It's definitely worth the $50. Um, let's see how long it lasts. Um, but as of right now, I've used it six times and I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm very happy with that purchase. So, all right, well, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the Kula looks good on my skin, but I'm not gonna know. I'm not gonna know until I try it on my face, but it looks really dark. Ugh. Okay. I almost finished filming. I almost did until I remembered I didn't show you my shoes. Um, I wanted to show you a couple pairs of shoes because I know they're still available. So I wanted to show them to you because now you work. Now my mirror just went on. This thing hasn't been working in forever. Okay, so Famous Footwear was having a sale, buy one get one half off. So I got a bunch of pairs of sneakers. I love me, my Adidas kicks, oh my goodness. So I got these. I already have them with like a blush tone and I also got them in red. <laughs> we were joking uh, in Dallas about it because I was like, I didn't tell Danny I got these because I know she would hate them. They are so comfortable. They have that cloud form and cloud foam inside. I mean, guys. Hello, so cute. Um, they are so, so comfortable, and um, I'm obsessed with these Adidas shoes right now. I actually have to scotch guard them so they don't get all dirty. My beauty blender just fell on the floor. Okay, um, I also got this other pair of shoes that I wanted to show you from DSW, which I thought were amazing, and I thought you guys would like to check them out. They're by Guess. Uh, these are size nine, um, and guess I seem to wear a size nine where I normally wear a size nine and a half. Um, aren't these adorable? Look at the, look at the detail. I'm gonna have to try to like not murder myself in these shoes because they're so high, but like they are adorable. Um, the down here, the rim down here seems to be slightly problematic, like rubbing on my feet a little bit, my toes, but I have faith that I can break them in. So, all right, that's it. That's all I want to show you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this favorites slash haul video. I know it's been a while. I am going to be putting up a get ready with me soon, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, I love you. I miss you. Thank you for everyone who has stuck by me and stayed subscribed. I am trying to get back on the bandwagon and um, loading more, so thank you so much again for everything you guys. I love you. Please hit thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more from me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.